Okay, so uh, <laughs> I usually don't do this type of video here, but hey, what the what the hell can I do? Am I right? <clears throat> so uh, here's a little bit of a story time, shall we? But first, I got myself a little bit of something. So here we go. Good old some good old Jack Daniels. But hey, what can I do? Yeah, I mean, just drink it all in. They uh. That smells good. It's really good, but actually, of course, before I go on to the story, a little bit of a bit of a drink. Never had whiskey in my life, so. Oof. It goes down well. Oof. Goes down pretty good, actually. Now, I know why people only drink this thing and only uh, on those whiskey shots. But hey, at least I know I'll be able to sleep better tonight. As I hope. Oh, here's a bit of a story time now. Of course, I'm sorry if the title might seem a little too edgy, despite the fact you know some people, well, some YouTubers, they do tend to let's say go. You to make quite a bit of a scene out out of something, let's say, a plane goes in a turbulence like this, uh, and they go on the YouTube like da da da, basically I'm saying, how I almost died in a plane crash, mm, something like that. But actually, it should, mine's a little bit more. I'll make it as more as realistic as I can because, uh, well, some time ago uh, when I uh, was walking around downtown, pretty much around this time, this time uh, at six around downtown you know I just came after uh, helping out a friend and whatnot so so uh, <sighs> so I kind of just uh, went when uh, I was passing by my you know the shopping go by all the time so <coughs> the minute I cross the street and look I look forward what I see I see let's say I see like a group of people just uh, standing down one side I go over there and see what what heck's up with them and guess what when I see them there's a, there's just one, there's just one guy like laying down, like unconscious, in the middle of the street like this. Was not, he was not even responding or anything. So he just kept himself just lying down there for quite a bit of while until help came. And then for the whiskey, I do feel actually a little bit better. Well, so is it. Oh, so, well, I call this a pathological as a medicine from. Pathological times. Whiskey. Say more from uh, medieval times. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Very good. Says a very good flavor. But yeah, back to what I was saying again. The. Uh, but yeah, I mean the guy. He was just. He was. He wasn't too well. I mean, he had a pulse. Uh, he was still breathing. That's good. So. Thing is, though, that we were, that was kind of wondering at the time, like, why the fucking hell did we bring the guy inside where it's warm instead of just lying down in the cold, wet ground? Because, well, this winter turned out to be a whole lot more colder than before. So he, they just left him there, just, you know, trying to revive that guy, like, say, uh, wake up, so on. But, in my opinion, that wouldn't, that, that honestly wouldn't work out so well. I mean, that guy's a bit of under chemical influence, so it would possibly need something heavier. Like, uh, what for instance? I don't know, let's say... Suppose I, I, went, I went from a dollar well, store and I got myself this. Will it be... Huh? That's not that hard. Let's see. Yeah, not really that good, but... Uh, that's a very, very small amount of chance of waking up the guy, but screw it. Well, yeah, like after some time, like uh, I, I was noticing around, like uh, the guy, like he was not, he was, he was, he fallen down. He kind of looked like Kurt Cobain, but a whole lot more fucked up. He even had the uh, alone tattoo, let's say, tattooed onto his thumb, so I could see a bit of, let's say, a uh, social distress that he was in. Yeah, poor guy, I'd say, poor guy, but hey. There was, there was, there's not much we can do about it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the guy, uh, yeah, I mean, 
And he only woke up when the uh, paramedics came. Like he was just lying down. I guess so. He just attached like the the thing on his fingers. Yeah. Third related was initiating up, so he it was heartbeat. He was alive, thank you. But uh, you know, when he was uh, when he was waking up, he was starting to make some moony sounds. You know, like a zombie. But hey, he was he was not as he was not dead at the time. So hey, at least hey, at least he got up. Uh, he, as much as he did try to, let's say, get up and walk away, he, he was in absolutely no condition whatsoever to get up and walk around. But, hey, what can I do? At least he did, uh, he did, uh, let's say, he go to the hospital to make a, ow, like a better recovery and whatnot. Which, of course, I hope he did make a, made a full recovery. I hope, I hope at least. If not, like, uh, would have been, a uh, quite sad, actually, because, of course, uh, you never know, actually, what, what happened to this guy, because, well, some people would just jump off to the, to the, uh, the immediate solution that, oh, he was a drug addict, he, he would have fell down, no matter what. I mean, they're not wrong, but they're not right at the same time. The uncertainty we need to tolerate, because he, because, of course, he, uh, could have been diabetic, you know? Like, uh, didn't have the uh, dose of insulin, or, uh, I don't know, maybe he didn't have any, any sugar recently, so he just plopped down in the, in the, in the ground. But, that, but strange thing is, like, he wasn't, he didn't went into the, uh, the shopping to actually seek help there. I mean, if he did faint the shopping, maybe, uh, things would have been a whole lot quicker, but, uh, for security or whatnot. That is, if the, uh, security wouldn't just... Drop him off the shopping and call it a day because hey, that would be very rude in my opinion. But yet again, never be too skeptical because there might be some assholes that yes, they will do that. Unfortunately, but but hey. Also, I kind of been wondering something. Uh, yeah. So of course, let's let's go into Google real quick. Yeah, I don't know my. Uh, I told you, you know, the uh, ingrown toenail, the uh, flesh pound is slowly growing up to be worse, actually. Now the nail is actually right now. Where's my mouse? Okay, there it is. So, here to Google. Let's, uh, let's jump here to the main desktop. Goody, goody, goody. Now, let's see. Shopping in firm. In firm. Ah, there you go. Infirmary shopping. I don't know to see about gift shopping or whatnot. And the image, of course. And, uh. Mm, yeah, it certainly doesn't seem like shopping is equipped with the portable infirmary. I mean, the idea is like, uh, if if if, it, if they would function like a school, well, uh, let's say in case an employee got hurt, uh, they would have like an infirmary, which of course could help out, let's say some injured uh, employees, let's say, kind of, let's say getting rid of this or the like, grinding stuff too, and they put his f his fingertips get chewed up, maybe maybe then, but hey, yeah, yeah, I mean. Uh, infirmary shopping. <laughs> no, certainly doesn't seem like it actually. Although, although, parade shopping. You must have a bit of a life trick. Now, of course, that's uh, let's do keep in mind about one thing here. Keep in mind here the pillars, this and the topping here, and also the triangular roof, and the stairs. Keep that in mind for a little bit, because you know why? Well, I'll, sh I'll show you why. Uh, Greek Empire Temple. See we're not. Right. So, we have here a Greek, from, from the Greek temples here, 
uh, here, like this uh, little entry point here, right? Believe it or not, I, I looked around here about this thing, it's pretty much the same anywhere, but thing is, over here, right? Triangular roof, this, uh, this support and, you know, the, uh, the pillars and the stairs, right? Now, I'm gonna go back here. Ta-da! The same damn thing. And which, of course, uh, if I look up, let's say, bank. Entrance. Oh, oh. Would you look at that? The town bank has, has, also, has also a Greek temple entrance. Hmm, I wonder which else we, will we find. Other Greek. Oh, look at that. Another one. The Bauer Savings Bank has also a Greek and has also a Greek temple entrance. What else we have here in also? In, oh, look at that. Uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of Francisco. Well, yeah, I mean, again, the funny thing is, like in the Greek Empire, Greek temples, they used to go in there and you know worship the gods, say Zeus and so on. While the gods that we have nowadays, it's simp is simply money, and whatnot, because of course that we have the entrance of a, of a, a bank, shopping. But we have in hospitals. That's one thing to to be skeptical about. Which, of course, I could always uh, I could always let's say finance a certain, the uh, architecture work for that. Am I right? But yeah, but yeah, then again, uh, enough of that. So then again, I hope you just, but yeah, then again, like, uh, just send it out here for now. I hope you just, just you, blah, 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 blah. I hope you just want, just want as much as I did. Look forward for next one. So I will see you in the next one. And until then, I'll see you next time. And until then.